Well, hello, my name is Linda Simmons. I'm in Grant County, South Dakota, and we're working on a SARS grant pro a project to look for dung beetles in our pasture and then have practices that don't damage the dung beetles and monitor the horn flies that the dung beetles help control and monitor parasites that the dung beetles help control. Hopefully at the end, we'll have happier cattle and we'll use less pesticide. Oh, this year the horn flies are a big problem. And anybody who has cattle in South Dakota knows that flies are a big problem every year. And everybody wants as many solutions as they have to the fly problem. And we're hoping that we'll come up with some nice mechanical control of flies that was tried in Missouri. There's a special box that the cattle walk through that brushes the flies off and traps them. And then there's some uh, fly traps that have been developed and tested in Canada and Africa and some places in the United States. And we're going to try a few of those too. And when the cattle toss their heads, you know the flies are bad. You can count your flies on your cattle and uh, University Extension Services have uh, developed some nice techniques for that. And these horn flies also bother sheep, so my neighbor with sheep is all in and we're going to work with uh, sheep also and see what we can do for them and reduce our pesticide use. Oh, without the SARE grant, I would not have been able to uh, put out the money to build the devices and try them because these are not commercially available devices. And so we can go by some plans that university people have developed, but the actual building of it costs money for materials and takes a welder, takes some expertise. And so without the grant, they couldn't even begin. And hopefully, um, the, it, it'll all work out well and other people can benefit from it and then they'll know if it's worth it for themselves to build some of these mechanical fly control devices. Mm -hmm.